Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have 5 to the power of 11 minus 6. So you, you remember, you remember one thing is that a calculator is not allowed in this problem so that we need to solve this problem without using the calculator. Okay. So here uh, we use uh, some uh, simple tricks uh, in which you get uh, all of these things in your mind or in your head without using the calculator and how i hope so you like this video and i can do all of these steps in a very easy and tricky way okay so first you see that uh, we focus in to the exponent of 5 and the exponent of 5 is 11 and we write it as 10 plus 1 minus this is 6 and we write it as minus 5 minus 1 we know that minus 5 minus 1 equals to 6 and after that we apply this nice exponential law you know that if we have a to the power of m plus n equals to a to the power of m into a to the power of n here we use this nice exponential law in the first term so that our first term is written as 5 to the power of 10 multiplied by 5 to the power of 1 minus 5 minus 1 and after that here we need to take common 5 from the first two terms and it will be written as 5 to the power of 10 minus 1 and minus 1 okay so after this step here uh, we uh, we rewrite this 5 to the power of 10 as in this form we write it as 5 to the power of 5 and its whole exponent is 2 because when you multiply these two exponents, it will becomes five to it will becomes ten, and you you have minus one. We write one as one square, and this is minus one. Here we apply this nice exponential law: uh, a to the power of m to the power of n equals to a to the power of m times of n. So according to this law, we write this term here. Okay. So further, you see here we uh, need to use an other nice uh, algebraic formula we know that if you have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b here we use this nice algebraic formula to the power term you see here uh, our a is 5 to the power of 5 and our b is equals to 1 okay so after this step uh, you see here we have uh, 5 times of uh, this is a minus b the value of a is 5 to the power of 5 minus the value of b is 1 and again the value of a is 5 to the power of 5 plus the value of b is also 1 okay so further in order to uh, uh, further we first uh, simplify these terms this uh, 5 to the power of 5 is means that simply you multiply 5 with 5 into 5 times okay so when you multiply 5 with 5 times in traditional method of multiplication you easily get the product of all these three numbers equals to 3125 okay so now we replace this 5 to the power of 5 equals to this number so it will be written as 5 into 3125 minus 1 into 3125 plus 1 and this is our minus 1 we uh, write it here minus 1 okay so after this step yeah, we add or subtract these values and you get here 3125 minus 1 equals to 3124 and this will be equals to 3126 and this is our minus 1 okay so further in order to multiply these two bigger numbers here uh, i can just use the nice trick or nice formula in order to multiply these numbers so first we write this 3124 as 3000 and plus 124 we write this term as 3000 and plus 126 and minus 1 okay so in order to multiply these numbers here uh, we need uh, this nice formula and you know about this formula if we have x plus a into x plus b it is equals to 
एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस ए प्लस बी इंटू एक्स प्लस ए एंड बी ओके सो हेयर वी यूज दिस नाइस फॉर्मूला टू मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू फैक्टर्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फॉर्मूला यू सी हेयर दिस थ्री थाउजेंड इज आवर एक्स दिस थ्री थाउजेंड इज अगेन आवर एक्स इन ऑर्डर टू अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला दीज टू वैल्यूज शुड मस्ट बी सेम ओके इफ दूज दीज टू वैल्यूज इज नॉट सेम देन यू कैन नॉट अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला ओके इन ऑर्डर टू अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला दीज फर्स्ट टू वैल्यूज आर सेम दिस दीज आर नेसेसरी टू सेम ओके सो दिस इज आवर ए एंड दिस इज आवर बी सो वेन यू अप्लाई दिस नाइस फॉर्मूला टू दीज टू फैक्टर्स सो दैट आफ्टर अप्लाइंग दिस फॉर्मूला आवर अब एक्सप्रेशन इज रिटर्न एज फर्स्ट यू हैव एक्स स्क्वेयर एंड आवर एक्स इज थ्री थाउजेंड स्क्वेयर एंड प्लस ए प्लस बी सो हेयर आवर ए इज वन हंड्रेड एंड so our x is 3000 and plus ab so here our a is 124 multiplied by our b is 126 and minus 1 okay so we apply this nice formula to the above expression so after that here we need uh, some simplifications uh, so now here uh, first uh, we need to expand this 3000 square So here you just take the square of this three. We know that the square of three is nine, and in order to square of other number, uh, other three zeros, you can just double these three zeros. So these three zeros will become six zeros. You can put it here, okay? In order to take the square. So uh, plus here you, we need to add these two numbers. So when you add one hundred twenty four plus one hundred twenty six, it is equals to two hundred and fifty. multiplied by this 3000 plus here you can use the traditional method of multiplication in order to multiply these two numbers okay so in traditional method uh, you just write uh, you multiply these two numbers and you get the final answer is 1 5 6 2 and 4 and this is over minus 1 okay so further you see here we have five times of this is Nine into we put the six zeros here, and plus here you when you multiply this two hundred and fifty by three thousand, uh, it will be equals to seventy five and four zeros, and plus here uh, we write here you just multiply twenty five times of three twenty five times of three becomes seventy five. And these are three zeros. When you put it in one zero here, it will be equals to the product of these two number becomes seventy five uh, and four zero. Okay, plus this is one five six two four and minus one. So after this step here, we need to uh, sum up all of these three numbers uh, by traditional method of addition. I think so. Addition is very uh, simple. Uh, and you can uh, you can learn about addition in your primary classes so you can easily do this addition uh, and when you add these three numbers you get here 9 7 6 5 6 and this is our minus 1 and now we multiply this 5 by this numbers then you get here 4 8 Two eight one two zero and this is minus one. And when we subtract this number with one, you finally get four double eight two eight one one and nine. So this is the our final answer of this question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.